Hello everyone. Today let us see one more numerical asked in NEET 2025. The question goes like this: The current passing through the battery in the given circuit is, and they have given four options. And this is the circuit what they have given. The middle part of the circuit, which I am showing with this violet color, and redraw it below. Okay. Now you can see in the figure given. Point A and F are in one place because they are connected by a wire. Similarly, C and D are connected by a wire. So, point A and point F are same. Point C and point D are same. Taking those things, if you redraw the circuit, you will get the circuit as I have shown below. So, this is the circuit which we get, and it is exactly in the form of a wheat stone bridge. And now, if you observe the resistances, you can see the ratio of the resistances in the ohms B D and B A at the same time. D E and F E both are in the same ratio. You can see which I have. Calculated and kept ready. One point two and one point two. So this satisfies the balancing condition of the Wheatstone bridge. That is, R two by R one is equal to R four by R three. Therefore, no current passes through the center. That means in the green color six ohms, no current passes. So when you avoid that, I can redraw the circuit again. Resultant resistance is. Parallel combination of these two. Which one? So I can show you once if you delete this. So this is the thing. Now what will happen now? These two are in series. That is two point five plus one point five, which will become four ohms. Similarly, five and three are in series. That will become five plus three, which is eight ohms. Again, four ohms and eight ohms are in parallel. So with that, if you redraw the circuit. If you redraw the circuit and calculate, you will get the resultant resistance as eight point three. So this complete the one which is AC DF circuit gives this much resistance that is eight by three ohms. Then after taking the eight by three in series with one point five, five point five, and one point three, again we will calculate because they all become in series and add all of them because they are all in series. Once you add all of them, you will get the final resistance as a ten ohms. After that, battery is given as five, so I is equal to V by R, which is five by ten, which is zero point five amps. This is option two. If you go up and see, this is the option two, which is zero point five amps. Bye. God bless you all.